is going on guys? Welcome back to the Key Largo Florida series. On this gorgeous warm sunny day, my dad and I are taking out the boat rental. It is beautiful out right now, sunny, little sea breeze, and uh, we are gonna have some fun today. Lots of animals out. So many cool things to see out here. We're gonna untie from the dock be underway the tide is high right now so it's about to go out we will go out with it yeah, so what are we going for today pops mangrove snap after eating those the other day man that was good stuff. those were good guys we're gonna go into the mangrove we got a bunch of uh live shrimp in there and an artificial got a bunch of live shrimp and uh we are gonna head out to the canals and stuff See if we get some snapper. So we've come into the mangroves, guys, and uh, we're just gonna find, we're just gonna run and gun today, just find random spots, anchor up, throw in, like we're kind of at a bend in the, in the canal or whatever you wanna call this here. And uh, so we're just gonna try this spot. All right, guys, I'm just using a simple Carolina rig. I'm just going to throw a bunch of shrimp today to start off since we're newbies at this. Um, we kind of just keeping it simple. So we've learned down here in the Florida Keys, ladies and gentlemen, everybody uses chum. This is a tournament master chum. I only get the best. Actually, this was the only one they had. Um, it's a big frozen block of ground up fish. My dad's putting on a live shrimp there and I am going to get out this mesh bag. Look at that, you see all the fish parts and fish eyes and stuff like that. Just put that in the bag there. And we just drop that right behind the boat and the water melts it off and creates a nice oil slick and attracts lots of fish that'll slowly melt for like next three or four hours all right first cast of the day nice cast. right on in front of those mangroves there you missed one already very nice adam yep. oh look i see yeah, more falling in yeah. you got a little snapper Oh, first fish of the day. A little uh, undersized, but cool. Pretty yellow all the way around. Mm hmm. That's cool. You never know what you're going to catch in the ocean. I'm going to bounce the chum bag a little bit here. Get that going. Fish on. Fish on? Wow. I've barely gotten a bite. My dad has his third one. It's a good one? Yeah, he's bigger than the last one, I think, or there's something on it. Oh, another one of those. I think these are called schoolmaster snapper, guys. That's close it to a keeper. Be, yeah, they only have to be ten inches. That's a that's a beautiful fish. Yeah, he's nice. like eleven, inch, almost Ooh. eleven. <laughs> nice pops. All right, sweet. Okay. Beautiful little fish. Yep. Sweet. We've never eaten this one before, no, guys. No, no, that's a good We're one. eating all kinds of brand look, new fish. Look at here. that. Look at those teeth in him. Mm. Yep. Nice. Very cool. That was pops. on the canal side. Mm, a little bit uh, deeper water. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Deeper. Fish on. Nice. I have not caught one yet. My dad keeps. Oh, it's another one of those yes, schoolmaster. He, he might keep as well. Oh yeah, I think he is. I think he's a keeper. Let me put. <laughs> nice pops. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nice. Another about probably 11 inch or so. Yep. There you go. Guys, we have over here. We have a. We've made a little kind of live well spot. So. <laughs> All right, nice pops. Excellent. All right, I gotta catch a fish. fish you got another fish on. Yeah, I can't even. Guy, it's a little one. I can't even get a hook up here. My dad keeps smoking oh, him. No, oh, got off. That's, that's the sweet spot. That's the sweet. That's the juice. And you got him that fast. That is nuts. I can't catch <laughs> a darn thing. 
Another one of those ones, just a little guy, just a little version. All right, this is my time right here. This is my time right, right in front. Right in front. Got him. Oh, I finally got one. <laughs> I let him take it. There you go. Maybe I've been setting the hook too quick. This is a real small one. Oh, it's a mangrove though. You got your skunk out of the boat. Yes. This is a mangrove snapper, guys. There we go. All right. Let's get a big one now. Fish on. Nice. Oh, he just came oh, I saw. <laughs> oh, no, there he goes. Maybe he came back for it. Yeah, maybe he did. Oh, it's a jack. A little jack. We'll take <gasps> that. Let's cut him up for bait. Oh, guys, check it out. Little Jack Creval there. That is fantastic bait. That's some good oily stuff there. Look, he's got something else in his mouth, too. What does he have? Guys, he's got another. What is that? Is that a bug? Wait, one is that is that ones? one of those, like, uh, yeah, he's parasites? Guys, oh, it is, I think. Oh, it oh, is. Oh, it is. That Poor is little crazy. fellow. He had this parasite. That's the first time I've ever seen this before. I've seen it only in, like, videos. So we got Ooh. the Jack in there. Look at it. Oh, oh, I gotta put that on a bait. Let me see. You're gonna put that on as bait? Will they eat a parasite? Let's see what they'll do. Ugh. That is crazy. It was stuck to the poor guy's tongue. He looks like uh, one of those potato bugs in Idaho. Oh, yeah. It'd be kind of ironic to be able to catch a fish. A fish on a parasite. <laughs> fish on. You gotta fish on the parasite. The parasite. That's so crazy. Another one of those uh, schoolmaster snapper. That one might be a keeper too. That's crazy. We took a parasite out of a fish's mouth, folks, and use it to catch another fish. Ten inches is what we're looking for. Mm-hmm. No, 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 he's short. A little short, but that's cool. I, I just this mouth is so. Look at that. I mean, it's little teeth. vicious. Think of him getting three and four or five pounds. Uh -huh. That's right. a beautiful fish. Very nice. Love those colors. Gosh, it's been really fortunate that I've brought my dad along on these trips because he's caught pretty much every keeper that like <laughs> we've kept so far. So look at this guy's got a pillar right here and uh, a little cove area. Yeah, this this might be the next spot we anchor. Cool. Dad just chucked the anchor in. Guys, I like this spot. So we've got you fish the mangroves there, fish the mangroves there, fish that pillar. Cool. All right, shrimp. Right bombs over there, bombs away. Yes. Got him. Nice. Yes. All right, right on that point there, guys. This is fighting kind of cool. This is a snapper, this might be a keeper. Oh, it's a mangrove. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. Gosh, they fight so hard, I thought it was way bigger than that. Oh man, he's like half an inch sh short, unfortunately. Got him. Got something, yes. It's another mangrove. This one might be keep, I think this is a keeper. I think I got me my first keeper mangrove. Yes, he is like 10 and a quarter. We got two kinds of snapper now. Yes, two kinds of snapper. We're gonna turn this guy into a tasty taco. Pardon me. Oh, whoa, we got a whole aquarium starting back there. There we go, guys, three snappers on the day. Yes, whoa, look at all the fish back here. All right guys, so we've just pulled up the anchor. We're gonna drift right into the back of wherever this goes. The current's sucking us back there. We don't know, we don't know what to expect. So we're just gonna- <laughs> Just watch for uh, sandbars. Yeah, can't get stuck. This is cool. Exploring new territory. Guys, as we're drifting along, 
there are just thousands of snapper all underneath this these uh, mangroves here. Guys, I'm going to flip this kind of as close as I can under there, a little shrimp, see if we get some. It's interesting because they're like different fish down there. They have stripes on their heads. Got him. Nice. A mangrove. I All can right. see him. Oh, he looks like a decent one. Keep him oh, this might be a grunt, actually. Yeah, it's a grunt. That's a big grunt, though. Well, not, not massive as far as grunts go, but as far as what we've caught... All right, folks, we're throwing this grunt in there with our snapper for nice fish. Whoa, there's a big fish right here of some sort. Was oh, that a big barracuda or redfish or something? It's a big one, though. Where'd he go? He's, he's like went took off that way or not took off, but he slowly turned. So after a while, we realized that the big fish we were seeing swimming around were snook and they were kind of skittish. So we anchored on the other side and started to cast into the deeper part because they were hanging out by the mangroves and this boat <laughs> comes by and with no apology, no sheepishness, just rolls right on through. And uh, you know, it wasn't a terrible thing, but he could have at least, I don't know, gone around <laughs> or something. Well, the fishing will be ruined. Fishing's done for a little bit. We decided to stay there because it was one of the few spots we actually saw a snook. And you see one right there swimming up around the sandbar. Most of them hung out in the shade, but that one came up and kind of swam around this sandbar. And so we just kept fishing for those. Got him. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Sweet. Let's see what it is. It's a snapper. It's another keeper. Another keeper mangrove snapper. Sweet. Measure him just to make sure. Oh, yeah. He's like, this might be the biggest one of the day. He's 11 and a half inches. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> Throw them in there with all the other snapper. Nice. Sweet. Ah, kind of died here. Yeah, yeah. Well, should we move on? I think we should. Let's go explore another spot. See what it's like? There is a bend up here where, you know, it has the way. Yeah, but let's just, we'll take a look, okay? We're gonna go in the back of this, um, oh, this little inlet here. It's very clear. Might fish around here. Oh, look, look, there's a hammerhead right there. A little baby hammerhead. All right, my friends, in the hopes of catching a little shark, we got a nice little piece of cut bait on there. We're going to throw that down, and I'm going to get to cooking. Interesting. We got everything for cooking right in here folks yes 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 all right my friends who's ready for dinner <laughs> you're sick <laughs> fish on i was just about ready to start playing what do you have oh he just got off dang it it's gonna be fun guys to try some brand new fish <laughs> Me too. <sighs> Last fillet. Oh. He rolled. Oh, that's cool. An acrobatic plane. Wow. I love airplanes. All right, my friends, there is 
the dish of fillets. Pops, do you need this for anything? Yeah, hang on. Hang on to it. You might use something. All right. I am going to rinse off the cutting board, guys, just to add that little bit of a scent in the water. We're still hoping to get a little shark or something. All right. Check it out, guys. Key lime fish fry. It's Florida seafood seasoning. I'm gonna use this. I used this last time we were out here, and it was really delicious. And it's some of the best smelling seafood seasoning I, I swear I've ever smelt before. So we're just gonna fry the fish. This is a little bit of salt and pepper, by the way. We're just gonna fry the fish and then put it in tacos. Kind of keep it a little bit simple out here. I brought this little like plastic thing because I put the fillets in there and then I can just kind of shake it like that and uh, bread them up real good. Makes it a little bit simpler out on the boat. I have to try to figure out little shortcuts whenever you're cooking out on a boat. <laughs> oh, the shark is down there? Oh, I got it. There's a big shark? A big shark? Down here, do you see him? Oh There's yeah. Some big ones. Oh yeah, some big sharks. Alright, gotta get back to my cooking here. Oh, we got some well done pieces. Got distracted by sharks, but those still should be good. Oh, that is so cool, guys. There's so many cool things to, to do and see out here. Let's get these tortillas out. I'm gonna kind of put these tortillas on top, just let them just kind of steam a little bit because steam pours out of that side. Just to warm them up. Just a smidge. Oh, excellent. That steam pouring out of the side there has heated them up. And, uh,. I think we have some done fish fillets here, folks. Excellent. Perfect, perfect. This is cool. This is really cool. We're still holding out hope that we can get a shark, too. All right, guys, we got some nice lettuce here. And uh, we're keeping these tacos on the simple side, but they will be absolutely delicious. And I got here some new fish taco sauce from Louisiana Fish Fry Products, which I love. I love the almost everything they make. So I've never tried their fish taco sauce though, so I thought now it'd be I've never even seen this actually until I came down here to Florida. So cut this into chunks. Stick the fried chunks right on there. I'm trying to get pieces with no bones. There are a couple of pin bones in these, so. Alright, Pops. The first fish tacos. You've got them ready. Already. Oh Just lettuce, fish taco sauce, and the fish. Oh you can hold the plate if oh you want. Plate. Man, that yeah. looks delicious. <laughs> no kidding. Wow. Fresh from the ocean. Cheers. Cheers. You know oh, what? we had to pray real quick. <laughs> now, let me take my head off. I, I tell you, I'm getting chewed up. Yeah, there are like all these little like no see oh, um man. mosquitoes or something out here. Father in heaven, thank you so much for the bounty we get to enjoy now. Thank you for providing it richly from the ocean. And I pray you bless it to our bodies in Christ's name. Amen. amen. It was very pleasant out here until all the no, the little mosquitoes or whatever yeah. coming out. Little bugs yeah, might miss. definitely. All right. And cheers. Cheers to you, sir. Mmm. Oh, man. That lettuce. Mmm. Everything. Fresh, crunchy lettuce. And then the cacao of the sauce. Mm hmm Sorry. And the crispy fish. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, my friends, that was a good time. We did not catch a shark, but we're definitely going to come back to this spot. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of sharks around here. Uh, <laughs> so we're coming back to this spot, maybe even in the next video, straight back here and try some shark fishing. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one.